Real common message that I get involves somebody describing a situation revolving around someone that they like a lot, and they're not sure whether or not they like them, and they're nervous about it, and all these crushy feelings, and uh, hey, guess what, you should ask them out. I know asking people out and, and putting yourself out there is really scary and nerve-wracking at times, but you know what is worse than that? Sitting there and doing nothing. I can guarantee you that doing nothing is only going to make this worse. The thing about asking people out for people with anxiety is that you just got to do it before you have a chance to think about it. A common theme among these messages is the person saying that I don't really know whether this person likes me back or not, or I don't really know this person at all, to be honest. And guess what? That's why we ask people out, and that's why we date them. You're not supposed to go into a first date already knowing, like, how the relationship is going to feel and what that person is and who that person is. That's why we date. We date to get to know people. We date to figure out if these people are right to be in our lives. And that's also why we ask people out. If we don't know the answer to whether or not this person wants to date them, we ask them and we get our answer. Fear of rejection's real. I feel that. I feel you. I'm terrified of it and it does not feel nice when it happens. I know that. And that's why you gotta just rip the band-aid off and ask this person to go on a date with you because the longer that you wait, the more that fear grows and becomes uglier and like stops you from living your life outside of wanting to date this person. Here's something that helps me a lot because I am one who gets completely ruined by crushes. Trust me, I get ruined by them. I'm very much talking to myself like I'm talking to you, definitely, so don't think I'm like telling you what to do because I'm telling myself what to do too. But what helps me is to remind myself that it's just a crush and this person is just a person. There's nearly 8 billion of those walking around on this planet and maybe there's more people elsewhere in the galaxy. We don't know that. The point is there's a lot of people and there's a lot of people who are going to be right for you. There's a lot of people who are going to be wrong for you. There's always going to be people. There is always going to be people in your life. Yes, those fluttery initial crushy feelings are really nice, but they can be really dangerous because when you start to look at someone like that, you sometimes start to turn them into an object or an idea to be lusted after. You put them up on this pedestal and you start comparing yourself to them and thinking that you're not worthy to be in their presence and that's just again silly because they're just a person and you're just a person look at that you're both people what I've been trying to do in my life recently is when I develop a crush I act on it as quickly as I possibly can so that I avoid that and it's been really nice for me so far I'm still terrified I still get panic attacks about all that stuff and it's really not cute but uh but i do feel better and i feel more confident because even if somebody says no to you that they're not interested in you asking them out is like an accomplishment and you should be proud of that and also even though rejection is a not a great answer it's still an answer and you know what to do moving forward now because you get your no you're like all right on to the next one on to the next thing better with my life so hey person who is having feelings for someone and doesn't know what to do ask him out Ask him out. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is, uh, go get your babe. There's that catchphrase again. Because stuff isn't just gonna happen to you. That's not how life works. You gotta make stuff happen for yourself. You gotta take steps, put stuff into motion, and you'll figure it out, and you'll be fine. Even if they say no, you'll be fine. I promise you, you're wonderful, and you're gonna find whatever makes you happy. You're gonna find your stuff and I'm pumped for you to find that stuff. That's pretty much it for me. I'd love to hear what you guys have to think in the comments. I love reading your comments. They make me smile a whole lot. I'm gonna get off of here now. I uh, love y'all a whole lot, and uh, I'll see you on Monday. The absolute stress and horror of filming an entire video as the camera battery red thing is flashing. It's, I would not recommend it. Charge your cameras, kid, because you'll feel like less that you're dying.